The Foundation series is one of the most influential science fiction series of all time. Written by Isaac Asimov, the first novel titled Foundation was published in 1951. Foundation was originally published as four short stories. The fifth story, which was published later, became the first segment of book one. Asimov had wanted to write a short story about a slowly declining galactic empire based on the fall of Rome. This idea grew into a story depicting the fall of the first galactic empire and the rise of the second. In the distant future, humankind has spread out to 25 million different planets. The galactic empire has ruled for the past 12,000 years. In that 12,000 years, the empire has existed in peace and prosperity, ever expanding. The origin of humanity is lost to time. At the start of the series, the capital of the Galactic Empire is on the planet Trantor, which is entirely encased by technology. The people of Trantor rarely see the sun, and they have special rooms which simulate sunlight. Harry Seldon, who spent his life developing a branch of mathematics known as psychohistory, has predicted the fall of the Galactic Empire. Psychohistory is a concept of mathematical sociology and makes use of the laws of mass action to predict the future on a large scale. Harry sees that the collapse of the Empire is imminent. He predicts a dark age expanding across the Milky Way that will last for 30,000 years before the Second Great Empire arises. However, according to his calculation, there is a way to limit these dark ages to just a single millennium. To ensure this outcome, Harry Seldon creates the Foundation with the permission of the Emperor, a colony is formed on the planet Terminus, and they begin work on the Encyclopedia Galactica, which will record the history of the Empire and preserve and expand humanity's collective knowledge. Terminus is a bleak planet on the edge of the galaxy, but it is the last hope for the future. The colony is made up of talented engineers and artisans. The Foundation soon finds itself at the mercy of the corrupt warlords of the Four Kingdoms who have arisen in the wake of the receding Empire. In the beginning, according to Selden, it was the Encyclopedia that somehow would prevent the 30,000 year interregnum. But after 50 years, a holographic video of Selden reveals to the Encyclopedist of Trantor that it was a farce. The true purpose of the Foundation is actually to form the center of the Second Galactic Empire. Harry had to manipulate events in these ways in order for his plan to work, and he could not even tell the people of Trantor everything he knew, lest he ruin his careful outlining. The novel is split into five segments. The first segment is called The Psychohistorians, and it deals with Harry Seldon and his subtle manipulation of the Committee of Public Safety into helping him establish the colony on Terminus. The second part is called The Encyclopedist. It deals with the growing unrest of the colonists who do not work on the encyclopedia. It is in this segment that the Foundation experiences its first crisis. Throughout the segments of the first book, the Foundation deals with several different crises separated by decades which had been predicted by Harry Seldon. It is also in this segment that the true purpose of the Foundation as the seed of the new empire is revealed. By the third segment, titled Mayors, 80 years have passed since the start of the Foundation. The second crisis is beginning. Anacreon, one of the four kingdoms that arose, is planning to attack the Foundation. The Foundation is delivered from the crisis when Mayor Hardin uses the religion they have created and thrust upon the people of Anacreon to turn the people of Anacreon against its own government. In another video, the hologram of Harry Seldon reveals that this was also intended. The fourth segment is called The Traders. It takes place 155 years after the start of the Foundation. It deals with trader Linmar Ponyets, who has been sent by the Foundation to bargain with the elders of the planet Ascone after a fellow trader has been arrested and sentenced to death after attempting to sell illegal goods. The final segment of the book takes place several years after the traders and is called The Merchant Princes. The Foundation has become very powerful. 
They have subdued and subjugated the neighboring four kingdoms and have expanded their technological and commercial empire throughout many stellar systems. Harry Selden knew he was dying at the beginning of the book. The Foundation was his legacy. Thanks to his complex discipline of psychohistory, he was able to predict the behavior of the masses over time, and he timed it perfectly, leaving future generations instructions in order to avoid thousands of years of the Dark Ages. Foundation is not only science fiction, it is political fiction. Foundation, like Dune, also explores how people can be manipulated through religion. Character development is not the focus here. There are large amounts of technical and scientific details, and many schemes and plots within plots. The book centers around the leaders of, and the people of the Foundation itself, mostly on the planet Terminus. Throughout the book, the Foundation threatens, manipulates, and employs divide and conquer tactics to fight against those who would attempt to seize their resources. Interestingly enough, this is accomplished all without violence. Violence is the last refuge of the incompetent. The foundation is built around this mantra. It is in fact the main theme of the entire book. Knowledge when used correctly is the far better weapon. Foundation is a pillar of science fiction and a must-read for all those who love the genre. The Foundation series has seven books dealing with the fall of the old empire and the rise of the new one. The final book in the series was published 35 years after the original was published. The novels span over the course of many centuries and create the blueprint for all galactic empires seen in science fiction since.